What is up and welcome back everybody for more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're in a location in the depths where we just fought the Colgara boss again. Everybody, I please ask if you enjoy my videos or if your kids enjoy my videos to please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, tell me what your favorite video game is. This type of engagement will really help my channel grow and get to the next level. So I appreciate that and I appreciate all you who support the channel. So what we've got in store today is to continue keeping on, keeping on exploring the depths. We're going to start off by building ourselves another air bike. So let's go to the favorites. Bam. And we need to put a bright bloom seat on this bad boy. And we're going to head north. And then to the east, because um, I don't know if you remember from the last episode, we're kind of like at the top of the map almost. Look, we're all the way up here. So this is where the boss was. We're going to come up here, and then we're going to start zigzagging through here. What's this? We got a chasm over there? Yeah, we'll start zigzagging. What is this? Oh, that's where the fire temple is. Okay. So yeah, we're going to zigzag our way up here, and then maybe come down in the middle. I don't know how far we'll get this episode, but that's kind of like the plan I got. So let's hit it. Looks like we're about facing north. Let's kind of move this way. I don't see a light route anywhere. So that's really what I'm looking for. Here we go. Still don't see a light route, but... Whoa, lava falls. Ah! <laughs> I guess you can't fly into the lava fall. We got melted. It took us all the way back here. What? That was hilarious. All right, I guess we got to build another <laughs> air bike. Who would have thought you can't fly into lava? I don't know. But that's like something there, you know, like... It was like a discoverable place, these lava falls, so... That's pretty cool. There might be something here. I did see some, uh... Some zonite we could mine. What's off to this left side? It's hot. Ooh, it's hot. So we got anything burning? Is our shield burning? I think we're just burning. Let's do it by type. By set. There we go. Oh, this is all we have of the set. Are we safe now? I think we're good. Okay, so here's the zonite I saw to mine. We only need like a million more zonite to upgrade our batteries all the way. So our goal is really to keep exploring the depths and uncovering secrets and just seeing what's down here. But we also uh, have like a, a secondary main goal that we want to do here and that's to get our batteries leveled up. So we are going to keep chasing Zonite. Whenever we find it, we're gonna mine it. For the most part. Hey, is that a chest? It is a chest. Oh, I'm glad we saw that. Ooh, more Zonite, too. Awesome. <clears throat> Alright, let's get up here. The Grand Poe. Beautiful. 
This has actually been a pretty decent spot for Zonite. This one's burning, so we're gonna have to be quick. Oh, it still burns on our back? So you can't even have it equipped. All right, I think that's it for this spot. I would like to mark it. Oop. Edit stamp. I don't know how long it takes for Zonite to replenish. Okay, so which way are we heading here? We're still kind of heading north. Oh, here's the light route. I'm glad we looked up. Easy on the turns. Some kind of structure over there behind it. Is that one of the ones where we could warp up to the surface? Looks like it. Kato light route. Got in the way of us activating it. There we go, this whole corner. Darkness dispelled. It shows that on the map too, whatever this is. Over here. Let's fly up there. Check it out. Up we go. Way up we go. Got a cave right there? Hmm. Interested. Interested. Let's check it out. Unbearable cold now. What do we got? What do we got? Got something for the legs? Because our leg is our weakest thing. Yeah. Now we're good. Goro! I wonder if he could bust this ice. Yeah, that's working. Let's let him charge back up. You know, I just had a thought, too. We could put something with a ruby on it. How about this rock hammer, right? So we take this. Here's what we'll do. I got an idea. So we'll take this. Destroy fused material. And then we'll fuse uh, a ruby to it. That'll melt this stuff fast. By type, now we just gotta find our rocks. Look at that, 23 rubies. <laughs> Let's see it. It still says it's gonna break. Look at that. Man, I really screwed up putting the ruby on uh, a weapon that was about to break, though. Should have known that was going to be a bad idea. I wish, you know, now is when I wish I had one of those, uh, whatchamacallits, wands, like one of those magic wands. 
So this has extra attack. I don't think we should put a ruby on that. Man, everything is so good. Should we put a ruby on the sword of the hero? Oh, that's what we could do. Hey, there's a Boko in here. <laughs> oh, I thought that was breakable. <laughs> He's gone. We need a stick. It's melting. Does that melt our icicle? Yeah, look at that. Man, this is cool. I think what we should do is just fuse another ruby. <laughs> Ten bomb flowers, sweet. You know, Bo, come here, bro. We sure we can't bust these walls? I guess not. Oh, my, my Lionel bulb broke. We should use this one. All right, let's use something stronger. Oops. Oh, actually, we should pick this weapon up. Now we got a wooden weapon we can use. Hey! Try not to break my weapon on his shield. Not going good. There we go. We can't pick up another shield? Well, let's drop... Man, maybe we can break that somehow. Is this leading to somewhere? Oh, there's something in there. There's a shrine in there. Wow, we almost missed that. 
All right, what about shields here? What's our shield situation? Lionel shield, we're gonna drop that. And then... Drop the stick. You know, Bo could bust that. It's just some salt anyway. Let's check this one out. Also just salt. Oh, and an amber. You know, we didn't find the bubble frog though. Is he in here? Otak Shrine. Icefall Foothill Cave. There's got to be a bubble frog in here somewhere. Let's do the shrine first, and then we're going to look around a little closer. Because I thought every cave has a bubble frog. That's what I thought. So. Yeah, it's kind of weird if, it, if there's not one here. Oh, one of these. I love these kind of shrines. So this is one you start out with no equipment. You're naked. You're starting from scratch. What do we got? We got a bow and a club. It's awesome. Oh, did we not equip the bow? Oh no, we got it. We got it. He hears us, but he hasn't seen us yet. Still hears us. <laughs> oh, now he's got us. Let's get him. Get anything good from him? Couple of arrows. Another one up there. We could have used this to burn him up, probably. Yeah, there's nothing here. What about this guy? He's just kind of on his own. Come on, follow me in here. He's on fire now. <laughs> Got him. So now this is actually good. We could fuse something here. Let's drop that, and we'll fuse it. Well, I don't know which one we want to fuse it to. Let's fuse it to the halberd. <laughs> Missed them. <laughs> Is there another one up here? Screwed that up. So that'll actually make a better weapon. Use a Zonite Spear. 
And we need to drop a uh, soldier construct too. Yeah, that is a bit better. If we could somehow lead one over there. <laughs> it's alright, we could take him out. That's it. So I think that thing in the middle was just to maybe uh, trap somebody and crush them. But we didn't need to do that. We got the skills. We got the skills for it. What do we got equipped? Oh, this got extra durability. I didn't see a chest. Maybe this one doesn't have one. Or is it up there? Nah, I don't think so. That's all good. We, we'll just get this one. This might be the only one. Mighty Construct Bow. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna equip that. Oh, we got this too. Knight's Bow? I'll equip the Knight's Bow. For now. That was fun. We haven't done a shrine for a, for a while and... I really like this type of shrine. And we do have enough to get another heart. No bubble frog though. Send up right here by this fire. Is that gonna take us all the way out? Yup. Maybe every cave doesn't have a bubble frog? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just there. So I think we pretty thoroughly searched right there. Oh, here we go. Bubble frog. Ha <laughs> ha! Got him. Sorry, buddy. Knew there had to be one here. 23 bubble gems. I keep saying every time we get one, next time we find... Kilton or Colton. We're going to be in. In for it. They're going to hook us up. Maybe we'll complete that set of armor. That we were getting from them. I forgot what it was called. Is that like white kind of glowing armor? Looked pretty cool. I think it gave us more rupees or something like that. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Ooh, another one of these, uh, dragon bone spots. Let's investigate. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me, getting over a cold over here. I hear horriblins. Are they above? I don't remember if we found anything in the last near the last one or not. Let's go up here. I thought we got a treasure chest by the last one, didn't we? I hear bad guys, but I don't see them. Oh, look at that. He's hiding up there. <laughs> Where's Yonobo? Oh, there is a treasure. Yeah, see, I thought there was one by the last one, too. That's what these guys are guarding. Cap of the wild. Nice. Let's get the heck out of here. We'll see. If these guys start attacking us, we'll take them out. So we got a piece of armor there. I doubt we'll get anything else of interest there. Could this be a Korok? We normally don't see rocks down here. No Korok. Kind of hoping eventually I'll get something that'll help us find Koroks. Like in the last game, there was the Korok mask. There we go. Next light route. I'm not sure where we are north and south wise. Let's look at the map. Let's see where we are. So we're still right by the north edge. We can use this to bust rocks. Works pretty well. I want to go up by this lava. So we at least are going to be getting a bunch of uh, zonite, it looks like, over here. Let's stand here so we can catch this stuff. I think a large piece fell. Do we want to go after it? Nah. We'll let that go. Something up here? Oh. Seemed like we were being led. Oh, sweet! Another large crystallized charge. So Sweet! Nice! That's 300. It's another full battery. Plus a nice little chunk of zonite we found here.
So we could mark this too. So let's go this way, and then as soon as we get into this dark part, we'll start swooping back south. Almost flew right into a lava fall again. <laughs> okay, we'll get this light route since we're right here. And then we'll cut directly south from that. <laughs> I love how we crash land every time. Oh, we could change out of this too. We're not in the fire anymore. So let's... There we go. Looks like we might have something interesting up here. Oh, and there's a Yiga Clan spot. We'll get some crystallized charges up there. Oh, nice. That's worth dropping something for. So will that always be there? I'm marking this. Oops. That's a huge find. So I wonder if that's going to regenerate. All right, let's try to land right by the red thing over here. So close. I was trying to catch it, but I failed. Luckily, it didn't fall. There we go. That's good. Okay, where is this dude? Gotcha. He might be the only one. Yep, he was the only one to get. Beautiful. Alright, give me something useful here. What do we got? Floodlights, not useful. That's what we want. That's an easy 20 charges right there. So we want to go kind of right. So there's got to be a light route in here. So let's look around. Go left a little bit, up this way.
Is that one straight ahead of us? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was one. This is a mine, too. Corvash Canyon Mine. Nice. No, this is a good find because we might... Uh, sometimes in these mines you find armor. And we're definitely going to find Zonite. So let's go explore it. Here we go. Right there. Could be another piece of armor. Yep. Trousers of the hero. <laughs> Link wears short shorts. You know, Bo. Not you. There we go. Everybody except the guy I need. There he is. Man, that's so much better than wasting bombs and trying to hit all those things with uh, something that, like a hammer or something like that. Here we go, more down here. Yep, this was a good spot. Let's mark it up. Another one. Oh, there's another spot for some more zonite. Uh, we'll fly over that one. I just can't remember where the heck I put the uh, thing. Where's our air bike? There it is. So I think it was like right across from here. Yeah, there it is up there. Is that another one up there? Nice. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, we can't carry anymore? We got anything weak to get rid of? Uh, not really. The only thing I'd say is maybe this, but uh, it's got a ruby on it, which is kind of useful. For now, I'll use what we got till it busts. We also got Yonobo, so.
Beautiful. Okay, so let's look at the map. I think that's all the zonite for this spot. Look at this little look at this little spot. We kind of missed there. Let's loop back down here. We'll we'll get this light route and then we'll come back uh north. And then keep following along and then come back to the middle. We'll just zigzag. So we need to go up. Kind of in a low spot here. And then we gotta go right. Uh, kind of through here, I think. Right? Now we're too far right. Oh, I see. I see the path now. It's a real skinny path to get through. I think Yenobo maybe does lean us. There's something here. I think this is where we saw the Yiga clan guy. Tried to attack us. Then we beat him up. Beat him up, stole his bananas. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Just this, it's just light, it gonna light up this tiny little area here. But there might be something over here. Maybe not, I don't see like a mine or anything. So let's move, um, we'll do a flyover. Thought I saw like a big look, a uh, pretty big looking Boko encampment. Was that it? They don't look like they have a ton of zonite there. There's a star right there for some reason. Let's go up. Yeah, you know, I think Yenobo does mess us up. Maybe it's just in my head. It like throws your balance off or something. So that's the light we already got, right? Yeah. Well, we're kind of heading in the right direction here, I think. Let's just recharge our batteries a little bit. Stone Talus coming at us. Oh no, he doesn't see us. He's just strolling a little bit. Something over here to our left. Ooh. Flux Construct down here.
Let's fight him, then we'll head, uh, we'll head dead ahead from here. He's throwing rocks at us from there? <laughs> oh, wrong one. Whoops. So now it's at the back shoulder. Where is it? Alright, what do we want to use on this guy? Oh, I want to save that for sure. Let's use... Let's use our Silver Boko Reaper. It's strong and we're not wasting anything like really good, you know? There we go. Got it. Flux Construct 3 down. That's a good one too because these are... Uh... Oh, we got a large crystallized charge. And uh, this is good fusing material. So what are we going to fuse? We should probably do it with this Royal Broadsword. Plus 24 Royal Broadsword. Let's see what... Will it tell us what it'll go to? It doesn't say. That will just do it anyway. 56, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Alright guys, good little Flux Construct 3 battle there. We're moving through the depths pretty fast. I think this is a good spot. We'll end this episode here. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it if you're a fan. If you press the like button on the video, leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite series is. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, everyone.